Hello and welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays. This week we're talking about updates to trainable classifiers. Over in the portal here, we can see we've got a new classifier called Discrimination, which is in preview at the moment. And that scans for explicit discriminatory natural language that can be used in communication compliance to protect our workforce. You may have noticed other languages for the built-in classifiers as well. So not just English, but also German, Spanish, French, Japanese, Portuguese, and simplified Chinese across offensive language, profanity, resume, source code, and target harassment. In a previous video, we talked about custom trainable classifiers, so seeding the system with your own data to create these models. But we didn't talk about retraining the platform. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. If we go to the Content Explorer and roll up these categories, we can see our trainable classifiers which have been published. So we have 423 items that are of interest, and we can use the Content Explorer to drill in to those repositories, and then we can find the item of interest and click on the link here for trainable classifiers. And we can also preview the data in here as well. So we can see there's some dummy uh, bank details within here, but the system thinks that it's a resume or matches the resume model and it's a close match. So we can train the system by telling it is not a match and we can provide feedback here as well or suggest other trainable classifiers that might be a good match. To retrain the classifier, I need to provide feedback on at least 30 items. I'm going to speed up this process. Now we've told the system what is a match and isn't a match for that model, we can go back into the trainable classifiers and now we'll see our resume in a retraining. In this instance, the retraining has failed, so we might want to revert back to the original settings for the built-in classifier. So if your retraining was successful, you should get a summary page, a comparison around the built-in classifier and the items you've told the system about against accuracy, true and false positives, precision, and recall. If you trained the system enough, we can republish the classifier. If you haven't trained the system enough, you'll get a notification to tell the system about more items to review. And lastly, we can see a side-by-side -side comparison comparing the predictions of the published classifier and the retrained classifier. That's it for now. See you again next time.